Pocahontas is indeed your 12th great grandmother. Oh my God. <laughs> I understand that was family lore. Well, it is absolutely true. And how could you possibly determine that? Through the paper trail. It would have been documented, the, the, oh, the yeah. paper trail of their children. Of course. John Rolfe and Pocahontas got married on April 5th, 1614. Shakespeare dies in 1616, just to put this in perspective. Married in North America, or, or he had taken her back to... No, they, in Jamestown, in Virginia. Jamestown, Virginia. Think. Pocahontas died sometime in March 1617 in Gravesend, England. England, right. And John Rolfe died around March 1622. So there they were married a, in 1614. 1614, when Shakespeare was still alive. But you have a direct paper trail, no doubt about it, connection to your 12th great-grandmother and great-grandfather, John Rolfe and Pocahontas. This is about as far back as you can go. It's as you, far you, back you, as you, you can go. That's it, unless you're a Viking. Yeah, that's right. This makes you realize what a, what a, what a small, you know, piece of the whole human story you are.